Hello again. So, uh, today's class, um, it's, it's, again, it's like slowly growing. We have like another, uh, like one up on each class, as in like there's three people in the junior one instead of two. So that's grown by one. And then the, the latest kickboxing at the end is uh, there was five people today. So that's gone up as well, so it's uh, eight people overall, which is a, <clears throat> a nice improvement. St st still, no adults. There was someone who said they would come, but I'm, I'm not sure. I think maybe they got the times mixed up because the time for the adult class is not the same as all the other days that the club runs. It's a slightly different time slot. So uh, that was still like another empty hour, and I've still got to actually. I'm still yet to do any proper class leading and one on like direct teaching, uh, but it'll happen eventually. <laughs> um, but you know, I can still learn from being there and watching and helping out with uh, the minor stuff like the pad holding and whatnot. Um, and today I was thinking about how, like, with like as previously I said about trying to improve my encouragement skills and get better at doing that. I was thinking about how I also don't want to over encourage and just purely encourage. I shouldn't, as in, I shouldn't be afraid to like critique and correct pe what people are doing. If I just blindly say, yeah, that's good, all the time, they'll develop, potentially develop bad habits if I don't step in and correct it, especially early on as beginners. If those little uh, things aren't corrected, it could potentially, you know, bloom into a bigger issue later down the line. And then it's harder to correct once it's been uh, ingrained into someone. Um, then another thing I'd say <clears throat> that I've really learnt from today is just just how patient you have to be when it comes to training kids because um, they were quite like hyperactive today. I mean, these two that have been coming already are sort of kind of a handful anyway, but um, they seem to be. Either either there were slightly more today, or it's just because the third student was at much better behaved, and it set a contrast and made them look worse. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, they take a lot of work, and you have to, especially for the type like these ones that they just keep sort of talking all the time. You have to constantly tell them to be quiet and to listen, to pay attention, and it's quite relentless so yeah quite mentally exhausting and you have to have a lot of patience to sort of not <laughs> let yourself just yell at them to show up <laughs> you know um, yeah so I think uh, for next time ways I could uh, like improve or look to do better could be uh, you know like pointing out mistakes more, like not being afraid to correct things that are wrong, or to like critique. Because uh, I think, you know, the thing that holds you back from like making those critiques is you don't want, like, especially as a, like an anxious person, you're like, that's that voice in the back of the head that makes you dead paranoid about saying anything negative in case it gets this like paranoid fear that it becomes interpreted the wrong way and then they like throw back negativity at you, you know. But um I doubt when I think about it properly that they'll actually take it that way. And even if they did, that's not actually my fault and there's nothing I could do about that. Um, so I think I should try and focus on that a bit. And maybe also another thing I could do would be 
offer my own suggestions a bit more often uh, as to how to do things, how to perform a certain technique or whatever. Um, just every now and then, not like trying to take over the class or anything like that. Just throw a couple of things out every now and then, get a bit more uh, involved in that aspect. Um, yeah. So overall, uh, yeah, good day, good class. It's uh, showing signs of growing, which is always encouraging and good. And uh, I'm actually optimistic that w that will be at least one person, but potentially two, next week for me to teach properly. So uh, that would be good. Um, but yeah, apart from that, uh, what's happening with me? Um, I fin I'm I've nearly finished reading the book I'm currently on, I've been reading for like the past two weeks or whatever. Like I said I'm a pretty slow reader because I, I don't have many opportunities to read because I'm doing a lot of other stuff all the time. And I also go through books at kind of a slower pace because I want to absorb it better and I like to sort of go through and highlight stuff. And I think the highlighting is good because it allows me to like go back to it and sort of skim through stuff and find what I need really easily and pick up all the main points and absorb the information that is good from the book very quickly after I've read it the first time. Because I, I, I don't expect to be able to remember everything. I don't want to just like skim through, like speed read hundreds of books over a short period of time and like not actually absorb any useful information from them. Um, but yeah, I've nearly finished that, so hopefully next week I'll have done that and I'll have moved on to the next book on my reading list, which uh, is this one. I don't know if I, I might have mentioned it previously, but it's this one. Wing Chun, because I've been interested in uh, studying different aspects of this martial art. Recently I bought a wooden dummy actually a few months ago and I've been having fun on that. I'm trying to learn a couple of basic things I can do. The things I'm really just primarily interested in with regards to this martial art is um, trapping which I find really interesting and uh, other sort of things like center line theory and the economy of movement all that stuff and I like the way that um, you can condition your forearms you can like condition your forearms and work on your hand speed through practicing it so I'm kind of keen to try and take those things away from it um, I've got my <laughs> I've got quite. A, I bought like yeah. I've bought quite a few books, and I'm like I was like I've been like determined not to read all or not to buy anymore because I don't want to like build up a massive list because like I said, uh, it takes me quite a while to get through them. And if I just keep building the list up and up more and more, and I just can't actually get through any of the books, it could potentially cause me to uh, lose hope in reading any of them. But recently I, I couldn't resist getting this new one, it arrived today, which is why I'm mentioning it, but it's this, it's quite a big one, look at that, what? quite thick ASMR, <laughs> it's this one, I saw it and I was like, I cannot resist this, so yeah, looking forward to getting through this one. I've got to get through the Wing Chun book and then I'm reading this one. First. And then I'm going to read that. And then I'll probably branch out to something more along the lines of kickboxing or something a bit more western, you know. I like sport type martial arts, I've 
moved on to the um, look at some of that stuff afterwards. Um, so with when it comes to audiobooks, so you know, I, uh, I'll have one of them on the go at the same time because I can, they're a lot easier for me to get through quickly because you can just have them when you're driving to work or driving to training and stuff like that. Uh, so I can get through them easier and I'm, it's, uh, probably, I might have mentioned it last video, I can't actually remember, but it's called Psycho-Cybernetics. I've got through a lot more of it now and I'm really liking it. It's really interesting. It kind of teaches you or explains how to not just visualize things but also have kind of just, it sort of teaches you how to think or like how to think positively and rationally in good detail how to maximize your potential through your own mindset and how to build good habits that help you change that mindset into a really kind of positive and goal oriented one to help you kind of get the most out of yourself so it's really interesting I'm about halfway through it at the moment um, and I'm probably gonna listen to it again afterwards just because it's it seems that useful and that good if I could uh, take on board everything that it says and build up all the good habits and uh, everything I think it would be extremely beneficial in the long run moving forward if I can develop that st strong mindset and it's got stuff it like teaches you like ideas like visualization like just to sort of it's similar sort of thing to meditation I suppose you could say if you just take them um, sort of like a half an hour time period out of your day I mean for me that was quite difficult because I already kind of plan and time block the hell out of my timetable anyway so I'm really busy but for most people it wouldn't be that difficult to extract a like half an hour time period every day but I've managed to find a way to fit in like 15 minutes which is uh, all I needed really if you're doing it every day um, just to sort of relax everything, relax your body and just sort of visualize different things like uh, one thing it says is really important is just reliving and remembering your own successes and uh, experiencing that positive feeling of success from your own memories of previous successful things and, and ex a success could be anything from like anything that made you feel really good about yourself and really happy like just winning a match or in a sports game or uh, winning some other kind of game or reaching some kind of goal that you worked really hard on and everyone's got something like that in their own past even if your upbringing is pretty rubbish you're bound to have some things like that um, then it's all about visualizing you like as you get better at visualizing you want to go into more detail and like really try and put yourself in that scenario really try and imagine in detail all the sensory things like the sense of touch and the detail and the things around and how it would feel so like you visualize yourself achieving your current goals so like for me stuff like box splits if I just if even if even when I'm trying to practice my stretching for box splits I like visualize and imagine myself sinking all the way down and how that would feel and reaching the floor and stuff like that and then kind of imagining also like if imagining your ideal self but actually being in that position being your ideal self and I thought for me doing this I could uh, practice visualizing myself in as, as the ideal coach that I imagine that I want to try and be imagine myself being teaching people 
as that person, which I'm not yet, but I aim to be, and I think I can be. Uh, so I put myself, like, try and make it as vivid as possible, like I am really there doing it how I would in an ideal scenario, if I wasn't, like, held back by my own, like, sort of insecurities and whatnot like that. So yeah, it's really good. I, uh, I'm not finished it yet, but I think I'm already at the stage where I feel like I would recommend it anyway to just anybody, if anyone. Um, I think that's it for this week. Uh, nothing else that I can think of. So yeah, um, hopefully next week I'll have taught somebody. I'll have some 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 thoughts on that. But um, yeah, that's it for this week. Bye.